I think the science of panting is very interesting. Here we'll take a brief look at the mechanism of panting in the dog. Our family dog, Kiri, a five-month-old Bernie Doodle puppy, has been the leading actress in this video. At rest, Kiri breathes at a rate of about 20 breaths per minute, but after exercise, she increases her respiratory rate by more than tenfold uh, when she begins panting. When hot, humans sweat and dogs pant. Both species are using the same physical principle that is evaporative cooling to keep their body temperatures under control. Evaporative cooling is the chill you feel when you get out of a swimming pool on a hot day or the cold hands disinfected with alcohol. In humans, sweat glands secrete water molecules. Uh, the fastest moving or the hottest molecules leave during evaporation, leaving behind the slower moving, cooler water molecules. The same evaporative process occurs within the noses of dogs. Instead of sweat glands, dogs have nasal glands that secrete water for evaporation. Rapidly moving outside air that enters the nose during inspiration thus cools the blood flowing through the nasal turbinates. During panting, dogs have uh, the ability to rapidly shift from nose to mouth breathing. Thus they can control the evaporative cooling locations in the nose, uh, tongue, or mouth. If we take a close look at Curie's padding, it appears she's oscillating between nasal and mouth breathing, probably most inspiration through the nose and exhalation through the mouth. Since she's breathing almost five times per second, we need slow motion to see more clearly what's going on. Note that her nostrils flare at about five times per second, suggesting inspiration at the panting rate, and her tongue is moving back and forth at the same rate, indicating mouth breathing as well. Panting only occurs at fairly high frequencies compared to normal breathing frequencies, so it looks like it's a lot of work, uh, but it isn't. Uh, the lungs and chest wall are somewhat like this spring, and they have a natural frequency that involves minimal energy for oscillatory motion. Like a swing needs only a small push to keep moving, the panting dog doesn't need to push its respiratory system very hard. So let's look at what's probably happening during Curie's panting. During inspiration, the tongue and soft palate likely move to block the oral cavity and direct nasal airflow and cooling of the nares. During expiration, the tongue and palate move again to direct most of the airflow through the mouth. It's important to note that the expired air is of little use for cooling since it's been warmed and humidified by the lungs, uh, by the time it leaves the lungs. But the tongue and mouth, uh, which are continually open to the drier outside air, can probably provide evaporative cooling at all times during panting. Of course, all of this is occurring at 280 breaths per minute, and Curie is continuing to exchange oxygen and CO2 via the lungs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll stay curious.